Welcome to part three of the Safe Home Blueprint Instructions. Today we'll take a look at points of entry. All right, moving on to the points of entry page. For this one, we're going to look at all of the ways you can get into and outside of your house, which, not coincidentally, is how the bad guys might get in. And we're going to just kind of take a look at each one and mark them appropriately. Starting here with the front door, we know that you've got a deadbolt. So we use the marking here, just a line through the door there, indicating that that one's deadbolted. Now while we're at it, we've got a nice screen door on there too, so we'll mark its presence as well. Now, does this door have a peephole? We're going to say that in this case it doesn't, that this entry space here, that front stoop, is actually invisible from the rest of the house. Now that's a big issue, and like last time, we might mark that with a one for our to-do list. And if we can put that there on to do, make front stoop visible. As we know, it's a really bad idea to open the door if you don't know who's behind it. And so we need to make sure that this house has a way to know who's behind that door. And then we'll just go around to the other doors in the house. And in this particular case, there are no other regular exterior doors. But if there were, we might have marked whether they were on camera, whether they had a peephole, if they had a deadbolt lock or a regular hasp lock, screen door, we would have marked each of them appropriately. Now we'll move along to the sliders and the windows. And just the regular windows, a dashed line we put in if it has regular locks. And the windows in the den, we'll say have regular locks, just the kind that normally come with a door, just that simple lock there, either at the bottom or in the side. And we'll mark that the kitchen also has that kind of regular normal lock. Now, what we'll also say is that for the bedrooms, you went ahead and put in some advanced locks earlier. These are usually locks that require two hands to open. A lot of windows come with them standard, or you can add some aftermarket locks as well. And so that advanced lock has a parallel line showing us that they've been locked appropriately, like that. Now we also have a spot for barred and reinforced windows. We're gonna say that we don't have any of those in this house. In general, we don't recommend barring your windows because those bars keep the bad guys out pretty well, but they'll keep you in, in the event of a fire or home invasion. And some studies have shown that very few people can remember how to open those doors when they're in those panic situations. So had you marked barred, one of your to-dos might very well have been to remove the barred the bars from your windows and instead reinforce the windows in other ways. Now, speaking of reinforcement, this sliding glass door in the back isn't just locked, we're going to say. We're going to say it's reinforced using some of that 3M film that makes windows more or less bulletproof. The worry about having a sliding door in your home, although they're very convenient, is that if a bad guy gets it once in, he'll just break the window. And putting some film in there won't necessarily prevent him from breaking it, but it will make it take so much time and make so much noise that if you're in the house, you have time to respond. And if you're not in the house, the neighbors will come running. Either way, we mark that accordingly. So once we finish working with this page, what we've done is we've checked and thought about every single way the bad guys could get into our house. And then we've made a list of things that we want to do to make things more secure and more safe. 